Hi friends, welcome to Ufa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 7 in Azure Synapse Analytics Real-Time Scenarios playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about how we can convert parquet format files in Gen2 storage to the delta format files. So we are going to understand that by writing some code in Synapse notebooks. So let's try to deep dive this and understand this now. So the agenda is to know about converting parquet format to the delta format. So to do that, there are there is some library called delta.tables from which you have to take the delta table module, you have to import that into notebook and then you have to use this delta table dot convert to delta function to do that job. And now what is delta format and all if you guys don't know, please watch my Azure Synapse Analytics playlist in which I have detailedly discussed about it already. So when you navigate to Azure Synapse Analytics playlist, so the last three, four videos, I mean 56 to uh, 59, if you watch these videos, you will get clear idea what is Delta format actually. So I'm not going to explain detailly about what is Delta format and all. So this video will be, I create some parquet format data and then I will try to convert that data back to the delta format okay using this delta table dot convert to delta function so let me show you that to show you that I am going to synapse workspace so here I have a synapse workspace uh, it is synapse mahir and this workspace has connect, connected with a storage account which has a demo container and in this demo container there is a folder called data so in the data folder right now there is no data so i am going to manually create some data in parquet format and i will place it there and after that i will take that parquet format data and convert that into the delta format so let's understand that so let me go to this notebook i have already written some code here my notebook is currently connected with a spark pool you can see here pyspark is a default language so now here i am creating a data frame uh, which will contain three columns id name and gender columns and if you see spark dot create data frame function will help you to take this list of two pools as rows and to take this list as columns and create a data frame here and then using that data frame i am writing the data into data slash persons folder that means in this location a folder will be created called persons and in that folder all my data frame data will be written as a delta format sorry parquet format so let's execute this and see that so let me hit shift enter to execute the cell you can see cell execution is in progress here cell execution is successful so now if i go back to my container and if i refresh this data folder i see a persons folder and if I go, there are so many parquet files are created in this folder and all these parquet files contain my data. So what is the data I written there? If you see here, I written these three rows, right? So uh, a person one, person two, person three, two persons with male and one person with female. So this is the data I written there. So to examine that whether the data is properly written into that folder with parquet format or not. So we can write a code, right? If you have seen my uh, PySpark videos, you know that. RS, please try to watch the PySpark videos. So there is something called spark.read.parquet function. To this function, I can give my uh, path of the parquet data. It will read the data back into one data frame variable. So let me take this path here. So the person's folder path, right? So let me select this path here. Okay, so from here to so let me select here so I, let's copy that path and let me paste it here and this entire code whatever you are seeing it here it is going to generate a data frame out of it so let's name it maybe like person data frame okay and then let's try to show that person data frame as well here so person data frame dot show function help you to display the data so when i hit shift enter it is going to read the data from this path that means from all the parquet files and load it into this variable which is a uh, parquet uh, sorry data frame type and using a show function on top of it to display the data you can see that id column name column gender column and all the three rows came so that means we successfully written the data 
in parquet format into the person folder so this is fine so here we directly return the data okay so let's create one more folder here called maybe persons new in that folder when i am writing the data in parquet format i will partition the data based on gender again how to do these partitions and all i have explained everything in a pyspark playlist so you can watch it from there or you can see the code what i am running now so if i go to the notebook here and if you see here at uh, this cell uh, again the similar three persons information we have with id name and gender and if you see here i am using a partition by key inside the data frame dot write dot parquet function so this will partition the data based on gender so we have two different types of gender so it will create two different subfolders male and female and it will uh, land the data in parquet format i will show you that so let me hit shift enter to execute this cell as well you can see cell execution is in progress so let's wait for the execution to complete so cell execution completed so let's go to our container and refresh this uh, data folder you see persons new folder came when i go inside the persons new folder i firstly see gender folder with male and female values because i partition the data so if i go inside this i will have only that female employees information or persons information in this parquet file and if i go to the male folder so here we will have the male employees related data in parquet formats so this is fine so we created two different types of parquet formats one with partitioned data one with direct data so now i wanted to convert this parquet format into delta format and if you know whenever you have data in delta format if you go inside that folder there will be delta log folder also will be created which will contains the logging information and when you have the data in delta format so that means actually you can perform all updates inserts deletes and everything on top of that data so that is called acid compliance right like how we can do this all functionalities in sql table same way you, we can do it on the delta format data as well so as i said to know more about delta watch that videos which i shown in the synapse playlist i'm i will just convert this format into delta format now using that function uh, delta table dot convert to delta format function i will just show it that and uh, once i convert we should see a folder created here which will have a name like a delta log so that will indicate that the data was converted to the delta format so let's see that so let's go to our notebook and uh, in the notebook so let's try to write a code now so to convert data into the delta format uh, we should actually so we have created two two path right let it be so let's go to the new cell here and here from there is a library called uh, delta dot tables library from this i wanted to import delta table delta table class or delta table module okay and uh, let me do one thing so let me use a help function help function will help you to get a documentation of any class and object so on this delta table class there is convert to delta function so let's use that in the help function to understand what that function does if you see this is the function it will actually take the parquet data and convert it into delta table format okay so that's what it does and if you see the example so this is how you have to write the example delta table dot convert to delta then spark session you have to supply and then parquet dot here you have to give your folder location which contains the parquet format data so this is how we should write and this entire code will return this entire code will return a delta table back so that will be stored in this table on top of that i can convert that back to the data frame and i can show the results as well so this is how we should write the code so let me copy this code here okay and then let me paste this code here so what we are doing convert to delta spark then here this is where we have to give the path so first let's convert that uh, persons folder in this folder we don't have any partition by data so this data i want to convert into delta so what i can do here so i have that path here already right so let me copy this path from here to here let's copy this control c and then here i have to use that path okay so delta table dot convert to delta 
then pass the spark session and the path and uh, the data will be written in a parquet for sorry delta table delta format and after that this delta table variable will hold the delta table back so i wanted to convert that to data frame back and then show the results as well okay so let me hit shift enter to execute this cell now and uh, let's wait for the execution to complete the moment the execution completes we should see the person's folder data converted back to the delta format and we should also see you see i am able to see the results as well so the conversion was successful to see that physically here you see right now there is no delta log folder here and if i refresh this folder i have this delta log folder and always remember the moment you see that delta log folder and if you go inside that delta log folder couple of jsons and checkpoint and parquet files the moment you see that assume that this root directory whatever you are seeing it is a delta format data and we discussed that in the synapse videos as i already pointed okay so this is fine so the person's folder contains directly parquet format we convert that into the delta format so now let's see the person's new folder so here also we have the parquet format but the data is partitioned by gender column so how to convert this to the delta format so to do that what you should do it here is uh, you should also pass so let me copy this code so let me copy this and let me paste it in a new cell so to do that what we should do it so firstly what is the folder name persons new right so let's point to persons new folder and as a third parameter we should also supply uh, the column okay so for example gender column is there which is string type right so that column is the one on which the partition happened right so we should mention that partitioned column as well here so let's say a variable called delta table 1 and delta table 1 here delta table dot convert to delta spark session was given and the path of that person's new folder given and we have also mentioned that partitioned by column so let's run this now shift enter to execute the cell and let's wait for the execution to complete here you can see the execution is in progress the moment execution completes uh, we should have we should see physically in the folder also the delta log folder would have created and you can see in the data preview as well right by using the show function that i took the data table and i convert that into the data frame and then i use the show function to display that results as well just to, to make sure so let's go to the container physically and here if i refresh this folder i should see delta log folder and if i get inside this delta log folder i should see that parquet and json files which helps to perform this delta operations like to have the record of like what is updating what is deleting everything so the moment you see this delta log folder in any root folder then you should conclude that it's a delta format so that's it in this video i hope you understand a quick recap will be so we used delta table dot convert to data function and we given the path of that parquet format and we kind of converted that back to the delta format so when the parquet format has the partitioned data then we should also give the partitioned by column information along with the data type as well then when you use the same thing in the delta table dot convert to delta table function then it will automatically convert that back to the delta format so that's it in this video i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching this video uh, if you like the video don't forget to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications whenever i add videos thank you so much